This afternoon, people in a local city can use their smartphones to help save lives. Channel 2's Linda Stouffer went to College Park in South Fulton County to see how an app is connecting cardiac arrest victims with crucial help. I'm not getting a pulse. For heart attack victims like the one in this safety video, seconds can mean survival. A local city is asking people who know CPR to become first responders through the Pulse Point app. It depends on traffic. It depends on trains. There are a number of factors that would actually delay rescue workers getting to the cardiac arrest. College Park Division Chief Ron Taylor told me it generally takes three to five minutes for their emergency workers to get to a patient. But if someone who knows CPR has this app, Let's go. they might be just steps away. You would get a page from your Pulse Point application. That page will give you the location of the incident, and it will also give you the nearest AED. And that's key. The closest defibrillator shows up on the mapping system, too. The free Pulse Point app has been used on the West Coast for several years. And I'm proud to say that we are the first city in Georgia to have this program. The fire chief says it's not just for residents. He wants people who travel through College Park at Atlanta's airport to download it, too. Other local departments are checking out the service. Cobb County's fire department told me they're looking into the logistics for a larger service area. Become part of the team by downloading the Pulse Point app. Even though using the app is free, it costs the city of College Park about $20,000 to integrate the 911 system with the app. Firefighters say if they can save a life, it's worth every penny. In College Park, Linda Stouffer, Channel 2 Action News.